What is up, planet? It is The Priest. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be looking at who secretly admires you. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading or interested in anything else that I have going on, of course, like always, you can find that in the description box below. My merchandise, my book, my one-on-one -on -one sessions, and other things that I have going on. Or you can also follow me at the Tarot Priest on Instagram. I'm much more interactive there. A uh, new announcement is that I'm going to be doing a webinar series, which is going to be an interactive general reading and also an interactive Q&A about your soul journey. It's going to be the soul journey series with the tarot priest. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to be posting that down below as well. Um, I just really wanted to create something where we can have more of an intimate space of helping with guidance, higher self messages with where you are on your soul journey and how to get there. So be on the lookout for that. Let's hop into today's reading and see who secretly admires you. So here's a close up view. I have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Let's hop into today's reading and see who secretly admires you. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and who secretly admires you. So I did also ask a question at the very end of me shuffling, and that is, is this someone from the past? So first and foremost, I want to look at the overall energy of the person who's admiring you. Falling in love, kissing the divine in another, in yourself. Wander village, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. Grandmother ocean and honor the masculine. This is interesting. It seems like the person that admires you is already seeing that you're starting to fall in love with yourself and also starting to see the change in you. So it's interesting because I feel like whoever has chosen this deck, again, I'm always going to tell you guys which energy I pick up. So take what resonates with you. For a few of you, there are some of you guys who um, have conceived children with this person that secretly admires you. And as I was shuffling through this, I really noticed that with the respecting men, embracing the masculine, divine honor the masculine, this is a father um, of a child that you guys have together. So this would be someone that you conceived with, with for a few of you guys. Um, for a lot of you, this seems to be someone um, that either wanted to conceive or you guys may have talked about children because that's coming up heavily. Again, that's just for the people um, who resonate with that. All right, let's see what else we have sexual union yeah again passion so i feel like this person um let's see if you know them perfect timing romance listen to your intuition so for some of you guys there's a new person around you um it could be someone that you guys just met and then for a few of you it's someone from the past so i'm just going to take a note and see kind of what i have here because with romance i feel like this could be someone from your past that wants to reignite something and get back together you will know that this is you if you guys share a child with with this person i'm definitely talking about you um this person wants to make it work it's the perfect timing um and you guys have a really passionate sexual connection which is probably why you guys conceived but again that's for you who have children now for some of you guys um this is a new person too so it's like two people are secretly admiring you so let's just say that one person from your past whether you have children with them or not or you talked about children or you've seen yourself creating a family with them and then someone that's new so you have honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred perfect timing listen to your intuition and romance we have romance and passion here so this person you have a very intimate physical attraction with this person there is a lot of fire here. But what's cool to me is that you guys are also falling in love with yourself, right? So this person and the, the journey that you guys have taken with falling more in love with yourself and becoming more of who you really are is actually attracting different people. So I feel like this other person, the secret admirer that is seeing you, feels that passionate romantic connection with you, is very sexually attracted to you. And this is more of like a sacred union, like someone that you been able to attract based on all of the changes you've made in yourself because we have fallen in love kissing the divine in another but with the honoring the masculine side again i do feel like this is someone um, that you've been with and we're going to get into the tarot before we also have look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way so let's see what this is about queen of cups this is someone that you definitely love uh two of cups this is a soulmate this is a soulmate relationship for sure Okay, so whether this person is around or from the past, that there's a very strong connection here emotionally, which tells me that this is someone 
that you've dealt with. And I definitely feel like for most of you that have chosen this deck, 80% is someone from your past um, that is trying to bring a new perspective and would like to start all over and change things. Um, but this way, they want to see things eye to eye. I feel like there was a lot of arguing this in this relationship, a lot of disagreements in this relationship, and just not seeing this the same thing. Um, and this is just because both of your guys' perspectives were accurate and no one was really wrong. It just seems like you guys kind of couldn't find the middle ground of just love. Um, and I feel like you guys have really changed. You're really growing. And so this person sees you completely differently. They're like, oh, that's the person that I fell in love with before. And you guys had something together. Yeah. I feel like, again, 20% of you guys, this is a new person that is very attracted to you um on the outside and it's a physical connection and that's why we have fertility and everything here um but for the most part this is someone from the past if I'm, I'm talking to you where you guys have had something and you lost something together because you just couldn't see eye to eye two of cups is a deep soulmate connection the empress right the empress is a mother she's pregnant so again this is there's children involved okay um for the most part what i'm seeing is there's children involved or you guys have talked about children and you thought that this was the one. So this person is coming back with the Empress card. They, they're they very attracted to you. You guys have a very deep physical attraction. Um, anytime the Empress comes up, even though she's a mother, she's still very comfortable in her sexuality. That's why she is a mother. She loves the intimate side of creation. And so it's more than just being pregnant. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh no children, that's not me. Um, but again, I want you to understand that even fertility can mean that you guys were creating this life together. So take it how it resonates. Um, but yeah, for sure. They definitely still love you. Um, there's a lot of emotion here, but again, what really went wrong is just both of you guys had a lot of ego things that you guys were arguing about and it all came down to perspective. The love was there. It's just the perspective. And then also Libra energy. So Libra, you guys, uh, this is justice. It could be a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be a Libra. Doesn't have to signify anything, but I just wanted to point that out just in case it does for you. So justice. So there could have been almost an engagement. There could have been, this could be a long-term relationship because most of the time this is marriage. So it doesn't have to be marriage. But again, you guys will know who I'm talking about when I say marriage, engagement, or just simply feeling like this was the person that you wanted to marry and have children with. That could also be the case here because with the justice card um, and everything else, the love is still there. Right now would be the perfect timing. I, I, I wouldn't say the exact perfect timing to try to see where you guys stand because you're still evolving. Um, but I don't think that you guys honored and treasured the relationship for the sacredness of it. So it took some time to needing to be separated for you guys to see this. Now, whether or not you're going to take this person back totally up to you but this is who is secretly admiring you fork in the road yeah it's a decision that has to be made it's like do i go back um do i move forward but with listening to your intuition it's like some of you may rationalize why this is not the person for you or why you don't want to go back but really this is about listening to your heart and listening to your intuition um and looking inside yourself to examine what may make you feel triggered about this person like if there's some triggering and you're like well why do they want me back why do they want to come back all of that it's because there's still some things some healing that's necessary before you guys even started that which is also why respecting the masculine is here it's like you butted heads a lot there was a lot of masculine energy because i feel like you're also um very kind very sweet but when it comes to being hurt something about you just switches and i feel like that's kind of what happened is that with this relationship there was hurt and now it's like you don't know what to do because there is still a little bit of love there and that's why we have listened to your in intuition people do change but again only your heart and soul will know what the answer is for you and then we have clean it up yeah so there's still some things that need to be cleaned up even if it's closure even if you're ready to move forward um this person definitely secretly admires you I feel like that time that you guys have taken apart or broken up, um, for those of you who are in separation with this person or whether you're making it work or whether this is a new person, if this is a new person, this is, I don't feel like for, for a majority of you, this is a new person, but for the few of you guys, I don't want to leave you out. If this is a new person, what this would be looking like is that person could have dealt with a very strong connection 
and is still trying to move forward and really see something in you that they want to establish a little bit more firmly. Um, but other than that, this is a very, very physical, deep attraction when it comes to just wanting to be with each other um, from what I can see. But for the most part, the person that's secretly in, in love with you or admiring you is someone from your past that feels a very deep connection with you. Um, I don't feel like they were there as much as they could be emotionally. And I think that's something that they worked on because they're realizing that you could have been the one for them or that this relationship could have been further if they just put in the effort and in, in not just that person, but you in being able to see things from a different perspective when this person is expressing themselves. So yeah, that's what I get. If you guys are deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. I'm interested in seeing what you guys are gonna do about this. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in who secretly admires you. Um, I already know based on shuffling these cards that this is this was a heavy connection. Um, so let's see what we have. Overall energy for who is secretly admiring you and or vice versa. I feel like a lot of these decks too um, are saying that you guys are kind of low key secretly admiring them too. All right, regeneration. All right, well, I wasn't gonna take that card, but I guess I'll take it now. And then the last card is yearning. Yeah, so this is a deep connection as I predicted already. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a twin flame situation too for some of you guys. For some of you guys who feel like this is a very deep connection, again, because this isn't someone new. That's what I'm getting. If you guys chose this deck, I didn't really feel a lot of you guys are new. Obviously, some of, there may be a few of you, but for majority of you guys, this is a connection that you guys have already had. It's a very deep connection, even if it's a very deep past connection and this one's person is new and you're like, why do I feel like I know you? This yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation, freedom. I think that I was even seeing telepathy come through here when I was shuffling and that's because I definitely feel like if you've chosen this deck, you could potentially be dealing with a twin flame. Now, there's a lot of suspect around what a twin flame is. I want you guys to do a little bit more research because a twin flame is not a fairy tale. This is literally like a roller coaster. This is, I hate that I love you type of relationship. It's like, why can't I let you go? Why can't I move on? That's the dynamics. But what you guys are learning with this person, because it's an off and on situation, on, and even if it's not, it feels like you've been together for a long time. Okay. Whether that's technical or theoretical, it feels like you guys have been together for a long time. Making love, erotica, divine sexuality. This person is uh, very attracted to you also, but what you're learning from this relationship, it's interesting because that's why I feel like it's a twin because you're learn learning too, is freedom. Okay. That you can still have this connection outside of this person. I feel like a lot of you guys are struggling to let this person go. And usually when it comes to secretly admiring people, and I know this is a fun love reading, I just want to explain to you kind of what higher self is also showing me with this person. Okay. So this person is secretly yearning for you. They're either um, dreaming about you. They're either watching your social media. They're looking at you. Um, and the magic of the druid caution weary. So it's like for, I just don't feel like this person is being honest about how they feel entirely um, about the dynamic of the situation or about you uh, because the regeneration just tells me like it's going to take a lot for this to come back to life. Okay. And so I also shuffled and asked, is this person from the past? Because I know a lot of you guys are dealing with past people, new people. So these were the cards that came out, forgiveness right within a few weeks you might see or hear from this person or have a revelation or a dream about this person but in, if you really desire to be with this person and, and i would say the same to them because you guys are literally mirroring each other is there there needs to be more forgiveness so that you guys can move forward and find freedom and love that you're actually desiring to to love so this person is definitely like a twin flame or an old past life person you guys shared a lot of chemistry together you shared a lot together, a lot of love here. Let's see what your guys' love cards are. Yeah, Twin Flame. I mean, I was feeling that earlier and I'm not surprised that this card came out because I did not see these. Your passion ignites Twin Flame. So I definitely feel like this is a Twin Flame. If you guys have yet to meet this person, this person is yearning for you. So it seems like you guys will come into union with your Twin Flame 
if you have not met them, meaning you may meet them within the next few weeks and it's in reverse, so it could be longer than that too. But I just want you to know that there's someone around you that secretly admires you or someone who knows of you who has a deep yearning connection for you and does not desire to be separate um, and really, really loves you. Freedom. That's crazy to me. Twice. So that's what I'm saying. If you guys pick this deck, I might just get into a little bit of life coaching, higher self messages, because I feel like you guys are both struggling from this angle, both struggling to release the connection here. Um, and finding freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So some of you guys really love this person. This person really loves you. Remember when I'm talking to you, I'm also saying what they feel because you guys are mirroring each other for the most part. I'm not saying that every twin is yearning to be back with their twin because that's not absolutely the case. But what I'm seeing from this person is that they still love you. They still long for this connection, but it's it says that it's up to you whether you want to continue to keep going on this cycle with this person or if you want to break free from this person that's why we have freedom both here it's up to you you have to make that decision and once you make the decision to let go you won't struggle with this connection um and i'm gonna get into a little bit of that because i want to stay on topic with this so the emperor you guys could be in aries or dealing with an aries i also see in capricorn energy we have king of cups here we have four of swords in reverse, I feel like you just don't know what to do about this situation. They don't know what to do about the situation. It's like they don't want to be in a relationship, but they don't want to be apart from you also. Now with the emperor here, I feel like you guys are trying to move forward, but this person again, who secretly admires you, loves you. There's either you guys raised a family, there's children here, or they wanted children. Um, it seems like you guys were doing a lot and had a lot planned for the future as, as well. There's, it doesn't seem like you guys are in communication. And if you are, it may be spark in spirits. But again, I don't feel like you know what to believe if they don't know what to believe. Because the Seven of Swords is here. And this is treacherous behavior. This is like someone who's being sneaky, betrayal. So you guys have a lot of history of hurt and pain too, right? You did this to me. I did this to you. That's usually what twins do. They hurt each other a lot. And so that's what's happening here. A lot of mental clarity. I feel like in the next month or so, you guys might be feeling a little bit more free. But again, I'm going to get to that. Two of Cups. This is definitely a soulmate. This is definitely a twin flame or either or. We have the Queen of Swords. Someone is standing their ground. I feel like they feel like you're standing your ground or they're standing their ground. Ten of Pentacles. This was a dynamic of a family. So you guys had something together. This person loves you. It seems like they're always going to love you, but they secretly still admire you in some capacity. The star card is in reverse. So we have Aquarius energy here. You could be Aquarius. They could be Aquarius. doesn't matter. But the star card and the two of cups usually signifies also a twin flame or a, a soulmate connection. So you guys have a past life connection. It's very deep, but there's a lot of pain here right? A lot of pain. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So like I said, you will learn a lot about yourself by just them mirroring you. They love you. The connection is very deep. I don't feel like they feel like they've ever had a connection this deep before. Um, I don't see much of what they're doing except for um, just admitting that they love you. The regeneration is here. Let's see what this is. The fates. Yeah. So if it's fated and it's destined, it will be. And that's something too that will set you guys free. That's a quote, I guess. Um, but I just randomly come up with these quotes just talking. I just really have this desire to let you guys know that you can be free and still uh, have unconditional love and a deep connection outside of this because I see that you guys are both struggling uh, to release one another. It seems like one, one of you are struggling more with letting the other person go um, and making amends because again, the father card is here. There may, may have been some family stuff, some family dynamics or wanting a family. But what you have to understand is the fates are here. So if this is destined for you guys to be together, it will happen. But it's going to take a, a lot of... And then this card came out, the star card, hope. I don't see that this person is going to ever... Not ever, but I don't see in this current energy that they're going to change. The regeneration tells me it's going to take a lot to regenerate this relationship. So... Hold it, you holding on is also holding on to what it comes with, which is the pain. And so this is a very deep connection. Like I said, they secretly admire you. Um, they seem to be free and enjoying the freedom, but they're still kind of checking here and there on you um, by just, again, secretly admiring you. 
Um, they may be dreaming, they may be thinking about you. And also I just feel like there needs to be caution because both of you are not in a place to come together and even converse, converse in, in union. And that's what I'm seeing is that what you're learning, what higher self is saying for you guys is don't postpone your happiness. Do not postpone unconditional love or freedom waiting for this person to figure it out and you the same thing, right? Vice versa, because you guys are marrying each other. Because I just feel like there was so much passion and so much dynamic that if it's meant to be, it will happen. Uh, but somewhere things went sour and the lack of trust is just here. And someone is really standing their ground and they're saying either I moved on, that's either you or them. They're saying, regardless, one of you guys is saying that this is it. Like I'm moving forward. I don't want to keep doing this. Um, I loved what we had, but I really just want to be free and happy and loving. And I want the same for you. I think that you guys are both coming to a mutual understanding of what you want, but for the most part, they're secretly admiring you. And yeah, they think about you. They definitely think about you, but they're, I don't see that they're thinking about, um, coming back. I, I think that they're saying, I wish we could get back to where we started but they're i don't see that that's what they're trying to do they're not putting in the effort to doing that i know this was a complicated one but if you guys chose deck number two don't forget to comment down below so i can get some words of encouragement back to you i know for a fact if you guys pick number two this is a very tricky situation letting it go moving on but remember you're letting go not because they're not reciprocating and putting in the effort you're letting go by standing your ground and saying okay I'm no longer postponing my happiness opportunity with others waiting for you to figure out what it is that you want. And this is going to make some space and some room for freedom for you, because honestly, truthfully, from the bottom of my heart, knowing that I'm a twin and I have also uh, separated from my twin, still on good terms, the love, the dynamics are still there. However, I truly believe that there is freedom outside of it. Um, even though it seems very impossible and hard to do, I just want to let you guys know that you deserve to be unconditionally loved and vice versa and free and happy. And this situation has created a lot. And I only know, cause again, I'm a twin myself, but anyways, I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and who secretly admires you. Let's start off with the overall energy, vulnerability, open your heart, allow yourself to be tender. So some of you guys are guarded. This person thinks that you're guarded, that you won't let them in. Fertility, you guys could have children with them. You could have talked about children or maybe you're just moving on and having a rebirth in your life. The present, gift, treasure, nowness, revelation of own value, the call to acknowledge and voice. Let's see if this person is from your past. I asked, is this person from the past? Choose a new direction, reconsider. So this person definitely feels like, yeah, not the right time. All right, this person feels like they're either new I feel like this is a, a this is a 50 50 this is the first deck that i've had that's 50 50. so uh, for some of you guys this is a new person um but you're a little guarded you won't allow them to come in you're not as vulnerable your, your heart is not open and that's because you're still in the past basically um your energy is still in the past with not being in the present moment of understanding that this is a new person they deserve a new opportunity. And so for some reason, you um, may have asked for this person to come in. You attracted this person. But it's just simply not the right time because you need to recover, choose another direction, reconsider. Reconsider and recovery based on the things that have happened in your past. It doesn't seem like you're as open to this person and they're kind of feeling that. Um, now they may have not, this person may have not even told you that they like you because they feel like you're still kind of stuck in the past. Now, this person could also be someone new. Let's look into the tarot, the full card yet, yeah, uh, or someone old, but this is, seems like someone new, um, 10 of Pentacles, the full card. They really want something with you. Um, King of swords. They're very persistent. This could be someone from your past too. I just want you guys to take what resonates because I know there's a lot of you on this deck. So this seems to be a past relationship or a past life relationship, okay? Either way, this new person or old person wants to start something new, whether it's starting all over or just having an opportunity to make something that's more of a harmonious thing. The wheel card is here, so that usually indicates it's someone from your past. Let's see what this says romance cupid our arrow strikes yeah it feels new to me it definitely feels new um but you guys are not open like you guys are coming off as a queen of swords which is like 
very guarded. Some of you guys are sitting down on dates with full body armor suits on that, that are invisible. Um, but very clear that you guys are just not trying to be hurt, not very open. So I do feel like this person is a secret admirer too, um, for the most part. Let's see if there's any past energy. There it goes. Six of Cups. Okay, so yes, there could have been a children involved for some of you because I definitely feel like there's a lot of children here and family dynamics. This is someone that wanted to build a family with you. Um, and then also someone from the past with just the Six of Cups. Strength, there's a Leo energy here. For the most part, you don't have to be a Leo. They don't have to be a Leo. Then Empress. So yeah, definitely children and a family dynamic. Um, this person is very attracted to you, loved what you guys had together. And I'm speaking if this is the past, okay? Because there's a new person for some of you guys, and then there's a past person. And you guys will know because of what I'm saying. So there's a family dynamic. Um, again, you guys could be a mother or a father or have children, or they could have had children. Children were involved, or they really wanted a family with you is what I'm seeing. Ten of Wands. But things just got really overwhelming. And then you guys just didn't have the strength to keep the relationship going. Based on everything that you've been through with this old person, it's going to take some time to recover. Page of Wands, but we're back to the new again. So I feel like... It's like, it's crazy because it's a new person, but it could also be an old person showing up as new energy because the page is also a child, six of pentacles, a lot of children here. So there's a lot of past energy here and looking for a breakthrough of just trying again. This person feels like they want to try something again. They want you to reconsider the, the, the decision, but right now it's just not the time. The new direction is someone new. So some of you guys could just have two people, a new person that secretly, yeah, that's what it feels like too. It's like there's someone around you that knows the dynamic of your past relationship, knows that you love this person and they just don't feel like it's the right time because you're not opening up to them. And then there's someone from the past that would like to make it work again. So you have a lot going on, but healing is here. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. The only way that you guys are going to be able to make this work, if this is someone from the past, is if you guys do the healing and give one another an, an actual chance, like from the start, like a new beginning, because the healing is very heavy. Okay. Um, then we have trust. So healing because of the trust, there's a lot of recovery based on the things that have happened. But again, even if it's the new person, you still have trust and healing regardless. And that's what's also blocking new love from coming in is just dealing with this past relationship also. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So again, this is about transformation. But what's really interesting is you guys are learning a lot and you're growing. And it's just not the right time to go back into that relationship. But it's not the right time to also jump into a new relationship because there's still some recovery emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment so this is definitely like a past person that wants you to open back up to them that wants to try again um and whether that's starting a family or coming back to the, to the family this is interesting too be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so this seems like a soulmate, by the way. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So you're learning a lot about this person and that person in your life and dating them was very necessary. Um, but again, they want to start something new with you. They want to take the risk and try it again, um, but they just feel like you're just not having it. Your guard is up and you're just like, I'm not going to do this again. I don't even have the strength to go through that again. And that's what I feel like is also blocking a new person from coming in because there's just a lot of overwhelming energy that is still attached to the past of this person in your past love life. Orphan. Yeah. So I feel like there's, there's a lot going on here. Children, again, is coming up very heavily. So whether you guys wanted them or have them, it just seems like a very important part of your journey is to establish a family. And so there is a little bit of loneliness that I'm sensing from you because of wanting to move forward and move on, but you're still kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say stuck, but you still love this person. So I do see that, that it is an issue. Go the distance. So that's interesting because we have choose a new direction and go the distance. And what I'm feeling like is the only way that this is going to work is if you go the distance in recovering and working back on establishing that trust with this person and then also healing. So it's going to take time regardless, but 
being aware of why it failed or why it didn't work out and trying to find some type of peace with the situation so you can move forward into happiness in unconditional love also because this is something that seems like it's been happening for some time and now is just not the time but it's it's time to like get off of the wheel the cycle of whether you guys started again started off again started again started off again because it's not bringing you any happiness and so with the present moment here the revelation of your own value is what it says you're learning your self-worth not by saying i'm better than you but by saying i'm not going to postpone my happiness my freedom and unconditional love in this life for you so what spirit is saying for you is just to find the healing is be in the present moment and allow yourself to open your heart back up so whether it's the new person coming in that secretly admires you or the old person that's still trying to come back and start something new you're in a place to actually receive and give in that moment and that's what's happening right now. So the Song of the Siren says the call and to acknowledge. So potential and powerful creative energy and initiation energy. This person wants to start something new. And so I wouldn't be surprised if they are kind of checking you out and seeing what you're up to on a day-to-day -day basis because that's what I'm seeing from the looks of it. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and who secretly admires you. All right, so I started off with, is this someone from your past? And I got, no, you are ready. So let's just see what the overall energy is for you guys. Sacrifice. The crane. Homeland. It seems like someone is... Someone that secretly admires you is actually like a soulmate that you're attracting. Let's see what else is here. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Five of Wands. There's a little bit of conflict. There's a little bit of overwhelmingness also. So let's see what that's coming from. This person wants a family. Um, the Devil card. The High Priestess in reverse. Okay, yeah, so there's someone, there is definitely someone around you. Um, it seems like you may know them already, uh, but it also feels like a past, uh, past energy. So I feel like this person is someone from your past, but I also feel like there's someone that you're attracting. So this energy is like, this person is was not ready for commitment or is not ready for commitment. Um, there's a little bit of chaos here with the five of wands, a little bit of bickering and arguing. So this seems like you guys have history. The five of cups, there's a little emotional defeat. Five of cups usually means defeat or feeling defeated emotionally. But I feel like, again, this is tricky with you because this person who has hurt you in the past, who did not want to either commit or didn't want to make the effort, um, caused you to kind of separate on your own. But what I'm seeing is that spirit is saying that you're ready to open yourself back up to love again. Okay. So here's what I'm seeing. We have homeland, arrival, a journey ends establishment. It's like you're on the very brink of completely releasing this person. And so what this has done for you is it has created space for a new person to come in. So you're attracting a soulmate right now. And that's kind of what's happening. But in order to completely attract the soulmate, you must shift your frequency. With the homeland arrival and a journey ends, this tells me that you're coming to the end of letting go of this past person or past activity that has happened in your life. But with the sacrifice card, this tells me there are those worth sac there are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you. So in order for you to start manifesting the love that you really want, it seems like this person is it's it's weird because they're secretly admiring you, but it's more of like from a distance and not really being open about it. This person's not being open or vulnerable in this sense at all. And I know that this person is not going to be for you because they they seem like they've released you, but they don't want to let you go. That's the weird part. It's manipulation. Yeah, we have manipulation here. Um, and so what's happening is it says arrogance, experiments, forcing chains, 
cruelty and the pursuit of knowledge. So I feel like they're kind of taking advantage of how you felt about them. And they're just not really taking it seriously as far as the end of the relationship. But again, you have someone that's coming in um, that does want a family dynamic and does want that. But I see that there is some distance that have been created just because of that. We also have declutter. Declutter, you have clutter. So this is also like you're, you're carrying a bag of past events that have happened and so spirits basically asking that you release that you free yourself and follow your intuition this seems like more of a message than like a person that's admiring you because again it's more of like secretly stalking um someone from the past is secretly stalking you and then there's also like a soulmate that's trying to come in but there's a blockage because of this person so this one is a really tricky one based on all the other ones um, with the, the devil card here, they could be a Capricorn. We also have Virgo energy. You could be, you don't have to be. And then we have the high priestess. So this tells me this is part of your spiritual awakening also is to release the things that you're holding on to that are no longer bringing you joy um, and that you're ready to do this so that new love can come in. Let's see what else is here. Yeah, nine of cups, new love is coming in. You already have someone. I don't know if they know you. Let's just see. I feel like they could be a friend or something or someone around you. Maybe someone on social media that that from afar admires you because this person you're attracting and it's an actual contentment of fulfillment emotionally. So with this person, you can tell the energy is different. This person's really sad. Um, they're, you know, she's holding the whale. All the cups are spilled over. The five of cups is usually a breakup. For, for the most part and so this is what's happening but then you have this energy celebration so I know this this is two different people someone from your past energy that's kind of still checking up on you and then you have someone that's new coming in and I see that you guys took some time to be a hermit um and then we have the nine of pinnacles yeah because their problem was just the lack of commitment the lack of effort even I'm hearing honesty um queen of wands so whoever this person is coming in they're secretly admiring you for um, your passion, your charisma, your compassion. Uh, they also know that you've been through some things, so they understand that you're you're just, you're not ready because you don't believe that you're ready just yet to let go of this person, but Spirit is saying you're ready. Like this, you're ready to go. So whoever's admiring you um, from afar, they're still attracted to you regardless of who it is. They're still very passionate about you. They still feel the connection with you. All right, let's see what these cards are. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So balance, that's that old relationship and you moving forward, finding balance so that again, you can attract this person. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. So again, love and accept each other as you are and your magical relationship will transform. Again, this is that past relationship. In order to completely close it, it seems like there still needs to be some closure. Um, surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let it go and all will work out. Thank you, spirit. That's exactly what I was saying. Is that you have a soulmate that's literally trying to come in, but there's a little bit of past energy that still needs to be cleaned up. Um, and so surrendering and completely letting go of this person so that another person will come in and it'll work out. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So this person that you were with from the past, they really did love you. They still love you, but they just didn't know how to follow their heart. It seems like they were in their ego most of the time um, because it's combative. The, the, higher, the high priestess and the devil together, it's a very combative energy. And so you needed to kind of separate and put yourself first with the situation. But this person loves you. Your soulmate that's coming in will also have the same love for you, if not stronger. Um, and so it's like, forgive that person, letting go of that resentment, moving forward, also just letting it go completely, letting go of what happened. Um, and this person that's coming in, they want, they want what you want. Then we also have time to go. So yeah, time to go. And you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through pain, a blessing will soon be revealed. So everything that you're going through right now or have went through in this past relationship um, of the person that I'm describing, your justice is new love for yourself. Your justice is receiving someone who can equally reciprocate unconditional love because you deserve that, right? And also deserving of having more love, just in general, 
just having more love and not having to pry so much effort into a relationship for it to work out. And so with this, um, who do you secretly, who's secretly admiring you is someone from your past, but they're still, they still don't have like the cojones to just tell you how they feel about the situation. Even if it's, look, I should have never done that. Um, I should have never hurt you. I love you. Like those things that have happened in the past were not me, whatever need, needs to be displayed. I don't see them coming to the terms with that right away. And so your journey with this person is coming to an end, which is good if you can allow and accept new love coming in. And then we have why. So if, and that's another thing I feel like with this card, it's like this person will stalk you, but they won't say anything. It's like, why, what, why do this? You know what I mean? Like if you're ready to move forward or you don't want to put an effort, why do this? And I think that that confusion and the answers that you needed were also what was hindering you from completely letting go of this. But what I do want to tell you is that this hermit mode is coming to an end with you kind of protecting and being by yourself because of everything that has happened and this new person that's coming in it's a wish fulfillment it's a celebration it's very easy it's very effortless and they're also very passionate about you very attracted to you physically and they think very highly of you also um and i also feel like they see that you've been through a lot and they see how much work that you put into the relationship and they admire that and they're willing to do the same thing. So when you're thinking about letting go, just remember you're letting go to open up a space in your heart to receive more because you deserve unconditional love to be reciprocated as you're also giving it. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and who secretly admires you. I know it's conflicting. It's crazy. It's all over the place. You have two people, but the other person hasn't just met you yet. And if they have... I would say they're very distant, like they're kind of watching from the outside, but I feel like they they could know that that this relationship was hurtful and they're just kind of taking their time. But basically spirit is telling you that you're ready to open up your heart. You're ready to love again. This time, just use your intuition so that you don't fall for the right person um, or fall for the wrong people, hoping that it's the right person basically is what I'm saying. So I'm wishing you guys the best. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment down below, um, you know, your guys' comments so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. I really appreciate you tuning into this Pick a Card reading. I will see you in the next Pick a Card reading. Love and light to you guys.